Okay, so after my last video that showed you how to um, install uh, SideQuest onto your headset just using your phone, um, hopefully that worked for everyone who's seen it. Um, I'm now going to attempt to uninstall Beat Saber, uh, BMBF, and then I'm going to install Beat Saber um, again just through the headset and I'm going to use the SideQuest app that I installed on the headset to hopefully install BMBF. Um, I'm doing this just on the fly. Uh, I haven't pre-tested any of this, so we're just going to see how this works out, I guess. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is uninstall Beat Server. Now, one thing I will mention here um, I don't think there's a way to back up your um, player data and stuff like that through the headset itself. There might be if you could find like a f through the file viewer or something, but I'm not 100% sure. So if you are going to do this uh, and not use a PC, then you'll probably likely lose all your scores and stuff like that. So I'll leave that up to you if you want to do it this way. I'm not massively fussed, to be honest, about all my scores and stuff, um, but some people are. Um, I also do have a backup of them somewhere on my computer somewhere from sort of like a month or so ago, so I'm not super fussed, to be honest. But anyway, uh, I've uninstalled Beat Saber there. I'm also going to go to Unknown Sources and uninstall BMBF. So there, BMBF is gone. So now BMBF and Beat Saber are gone. Um, I'm going to install the latest version of Beat Saber here. Pause this video. Um, I'm going to let this install and skip ahead. Uh, so I'll see you back in a second. Okay, so this is now just installing the final bit. Um, once this installs, uh, I'm going to go over to the SideQuest um, app in my unknown sources um, because there was a, a BMBF um, uh, install in there. So I'm just going to see if that works, to be honest. Um, and then I'm going to try and see if there's a way to also install mods because it's not going to be that good if... Um, we can install BMBF, but we can't install mods through the headset. So I'm hoping I can just go to the quest board or the mods page in the, the headset now, and it will do that. So I'm just going to wait for this. Should be done soon, I think, hopefully. Um, but I think this will be nice for people. One thing I will mention, though, is obviously you won't be able to downgrade um, through the headset. Uh, so this is only for doing... Oops, uh, let me just close that off, sorry. Quit. Okay, so if we go to Unknown Sources, which is your app library, then you click this little symbol up here, um, and you'll be on all usually, uh, but then if you go drop down menu, Unknown Sources, uh, and there's the side quest that we installed in the previous video. Um, so now here's BMBF, so we'll click on that, let this load up, and we've got download app, side load here. Um, yeah, I'm just assuming this, this, this should only work on the latest version, I think. Well, I suppose if you've downgraded Beat Saber prior to installing, um, then you could do the BMBF install through here, but you're still going to need a PC to do downgrading, I believe. Um, but yeah, so that's installing. This looks good so far. It just looks like the BMBF installer. Um, so BMBF is installed. So now let's go back to unknown sources and we've got BMBF here. I had this previously. For some reason, when I install BMBF, there's two BMBFs. So I just click the first one, to be honest. Um, allow... Um, access to photos and stuff. Um, so yeah, that seems to have worked. This just looks like a typical BMBF installation now. So we'll go through this, get started, 
uninstall beat server let it do its little bit here um, and then it'll come up with the warning kind of description uh, do you want to uninstall this app you are clicking OK because you want to un uninstall the official version and BMBF installs like an unofficial version then we want to click patch beat server and then let it do its thing again um, and then after this we're going to um, restore our songs folder and then I'll take a look inside BMBF to see if what the mods page is looking like in there because I've done it through PC for so long that I just I, I don't know what it looks like anymore it might be a lot easier than it used to be um, so we're going to install modded Beat Saber now and then we just wait for this uh, when you get this pop-up you want to click on settings toggle this little toggle press back and then click install modded Beat Saber again um, you have to do this every time you install BMBF do you install this application? yes I do, install so let this install it usually hangs for a little bit here if I remember right in my previous videos um, but when it hangs uh, just give it a bit longer your screen should go black uh, and then you'll come up, it'll come up with a message uh, saying wait or close so you want to click wait um, if you see just behind this here there's like this important warning message it tells you things to look out for um, it says something about done and stuff but I never seem to get that message so the main thing is the screen will go black here you want to click wait instead of close um, then you'll be back on your menu and now if you go back to unknown sources uh, if the unofficial version, right, any, anytime you see restore, don't restore, just close it. Um, so now if we go back to BMBF in unknown sources, then you should be on the BMBF page. And this is where you'll get your pop-up message. If you've got songs from a previous install, it will say restore after upgrade and you just click restore and it'll just reload all your songs from your songs folder. I get this question a lot. If you delete BMBF or you delete Beat Saber, your songs will not be deleted. All right, people don't seem to believe me when I tell them this, but the the BMBF files are stored separately to your songs folder. Okay, so you could delete BMBF as much as you want, and your songs will always sit in that folder. And when you come back and open BMBF, it just restores them. So don't worry about losing your songs. Okay. Everyone seems to really panic about that. I've done this hundreds of times and my songs, I've still got songs from when I first got my Quest 2 like two years ago. So yeah, it's not a worry at all. Um, so I'll just let these install. I might skip ahead here quickly if it doesn't, if it takes too long, but I'll give it a couple more seconds and see. Okay, I've skipped ahead a little bit there just because it was taking a while. Um, so once that's finished syncing all your songs, uh, you want to just click sync up here, uh, let it do its thing. Once this disappears, then you should be ready to go. Um, I'm just going to quickly... I had this uh, these warning messages pop up last time, but it seemed to work totally fine, so I would just ignore these, um, honestly. Uh, I'm going to start Beat Saber quickly just to check um, I'm on the correct version. And again, whenever you get these, restore app, don't restore, you want to click open app. Um, so here we are. Allow permissions. And we're in the game. There's this little warning message. Wait for the game to load up. I always get this message, playlist car, I just click yes. Uh, just checking the floor there. So the version number is 1.28, so I'm on the latest version of Beat Saber and BMBF is installed all through the headset 
and installed previously just using a mobile phone. So you don't need a PC for this anymore. The only time you would need a PC is for possibly downgrading and we're going to check next to see if we can install mods here. So let's exit out and we're going to go back to BMBF and we are going to go to mods. No, we're not. We're going to go to browser. See, it's been so long since I've been on this. So you go to browser, get mods. Um, yeah, you see this hasn't updated. So this is for 1.24. Um, so at the moment, as far as I can tell, unless I can figure something out, um, you're going to have to install mods using a PC still. Uh, I'm going to have a quick play around and I might add another section to the end of this video. So, um, Thanks for watching for now, um, and there might be an extra bit after this if I've figured out a way to install mods. Hey guys, as always, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one.